Get away from me, stalker! <laughs> I can actually punch it! Hey everybody, welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Subnautica. If you remember last time, we built the um, the uh, Neptune Escape Rocket platform and the prawn suit. And I totally forgot we had a radio broadcast uh, last part, so we're just going to listen and see what this is. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. The pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Ah. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay. I'll keep that just in case. Oh, I already have four med kits. I don't need that many. Um, let's see. Yeah, I might as well have some water. Okay. Alright, let's look at the clue for Life Pod 7. A distress signal has been received from Life Pod 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photogenic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Who reported problems with their onboard fabricator sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity? Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora stern section. Okay. So. I. <laughs> you're gonna think I'm really stupid, but I'm not sure what the stern is of a ship. Let me quickly look that up. The rearmost part of a ship or boat. Okay, so the back of the Aurora. Let's get the seam off for this one. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, so we want to start at the back of the Aurora. Okay, we made it. So what was uh what was the clue again? One kilometer southwest. Okay, so southwest. And they sunk to 200 meters. Oh my gosh! What was that? What was that? Oh, that was a bone shark. Oh my gosh. That scared me. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. <laughs> we'll need to... Passing Repair our seam off a bit. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Because we can't have the same mistake happen that I did where the seam off exploded. Okay. So. Two hundred meters. Oh, what's that? I'm ducking my head like I <laughs> like I need to, but I don't I don't need to. Okay, that's two out of three for the Cyclops engine. Hmm. Where could the uh, life pod be? We'll probably need the prawn suit. Okay, our prawn suit's already charging. Um, yeah, we we will need a second moon pool. Let's focus on that before we do anything else. Uh, and 
shut off the lights. Okay, so what do we need for the moon pool? Two titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead. Okay, so... Let's uh, focus on getting titanium. Ooh! Excuse me. up our inventory so let's go let's go back where's the seam off there it is okay let's get our titanium one ingot and then how much more do we need for okay so we need one more piece of metal oops sorry Gary fish bumping into all these fish I feel so bad okay here we go Okay, then lubricant and lead. Let's see, I assume we don't have any lead. Nope. So, we better go find some. Here's our C clusters. Ah, sorry! My goodness, these are getting hard to find. The sandstone outcrops. Oh, here we go. Here's a sandstone outcrop. That's gold! My gosh, I keep getting gold! Lead! Finally. Okay, we need one more. Silver! There we go. Okay, good. Alright, heading back. Okay, lubricant. And then that should be it, I believe. See if it can have us. Ow! Have us uh, make another path. Aha! It worked! Damage due to weak hole strength. Build reinforcements or remove weak parts. Oh gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, heck! That's not good. Oh, heck! Oh, heck! Um... Shoot! I think we need to deconstruct the moon pool. 
Uh, let's see. Can't distract the seam office in the way. Oh gosh. Uh, here, just get, get in, please. All systems online. Ow. Okay. Deconstruct, please. <laughs> okay. Did that fix the problem? No, not quite. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Good. <gasps> okay. <laughs> So, bad idea to put a moon pool next to, uh, another moon pool. Gotcha. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, let's build the moon pool somewhere else. Um. How about, um, back here. That should do. Okay, hopefully I can be able to fit the seam off in there. I'm not, like, I don't think logically, so I, uh, I have a hard time with, like, uh, with this kind of thing, with the whole strength and whatnot. Uh, hello? I'm here. Moon pool? Why aren't you picking me up? Hang on a sec. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right, so what do we need uh, for power? Solar panel, two quartz, two titanium. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna have to look for more quartz. Gosh, this is gonna be hard work. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. And it's getting dark. Great. And I'm running low on water. Okay. Now let's go to bed. Ah. That was hectic! <laughs> With everything flooding and that kind of thing. Oh gosh. So we'll get titanium out of here. If it's not copper, come on! You know what? Uh, uh, actually, wait. Is there anything in here? Yes. We can just get the titanium out of here. There we go. Now we need two quarts left. Family of stalkers. There's the really, uh... Oh wait. Is this the deep spot? I don't think so. Here we go, here's our two quarts.
You know what? Just so I don't have to keep looking for more quartz, I'll pick up a few. And pick up some salt for more water. Might as well. I saw one more. Aha! There you are. I guess I didn't really put the moon pool in a very good spot because of uh, this huge rock. But it's okay. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm gonna put it on top. Power restored. All primary systems online. Nice. Okay, so can we get picked up now? Yes, we can! Welcome aboard, Captain. Nice. Okay. Good. Alright, and real quick, I'll uh, get the uh, coral shell plate. For water. Oh, heck. Alright. We avoided that. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. Let's put stuff in the locker. Oh my gosh, it's already full. It's all thanks to this gold and these batteries. Oh gosh, okay. I'll take out some gold. There. I need a... Let's see. Seamoth prong compatible. Um... I'll put the storage... Uh, thingy on the prawn suit. Let's see, I think the upgrades are on the other side. Yeah, okay. There we go. That'll do. Okay. I think we are all set to go to Life Pod 12. So let's see. Where did it go? There it is. It's gonna take a while for us to get there. But, uh... Uh... Don't worry, I'll cut out all the long travel. Sorry, Peeper. Oh no! That bone shark is attacking that ray! Ooh! Modification station fragment! We will need that! So glad we finally found one! Blueprints, modification station. That's a red bone shark! Ooh! These are new. Let's see, just making sure that I'm safe. Other than that bone shark, we're good. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen Common bulb bush. Decreased. Okay. Oh yeah, see how deep we can go? 900 meters. And th there are even, uh... Uh depth module upgrades that we can get so we can go even deeper and eventually we will go deeper than 900 meters so that's a new creature it's dangerous though obviously because you could see the electrical Detecting field around activity 
and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Yep, no kidding. Okay, let's see. We got a PDA. Oh, hi! Hi, buddy! Okay, nothing else to worry about here. I think that bone shark damaged my, uh, uh, prawn suit a little bit. Ah! Won't you dare! I want to see if I want if I can scan that electrical thingy. I'm I'm really daring. I know. Actually, it's too dark. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, you scared me. Okay, well, let's see if I can scan you now. And peel. Oh gosh, ah! Nice and careful. Easy now. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> if my best friend Scott Mac were watching this, he would hate me. Because <laughs> he doesn't like the deep water and all the scary monsters. And uh, with the prawn suit, once we get the drill arm, we will be able to drill through these, uh, these uh, nodes here. So, yeah. We could have probably taken the seam off over uh, to Life Pod 12, but eh, I felt safer in the prawn suit. Get away from me, stalker. <laughs> I can actually punch it. Okay. Now you know not to mess with me. <laughs> okay, let's get some water. And some food. Are these Chinese potatoes getting old? Is that why they're turning black? I don't know. Okay, well, um, uh, now what? <laughs> um, we still have Life Pod 7. Um, oh, let's look at uh, some of these voice clips. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. That was uh, LifePod 12 Medical Officer Danby's crew log. Alright. <sighs> Let's see here. Yeah, what should we do? 
I am tempted to actually go back to that area and uh, see if I can find more of the uh, modification station, yes. Uh, I guess we'll go live pod 7. Let's open up storage, see what we... Yeah, let's get some more water, because it's going to be a long travel. And while we're at it, I kind of want to... Well, I don't know. I was going to charge... Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's take the battery out of the sea glide. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, R. And then, uh... We'll put the battery in there to charge, and then we'll use one of the batteries that's in here. Uh, we'll put the stalker tooth in there, I guess. There we go. And then let's just uh, get more water. I kind of want to wait until it gets dark, so in the meantime, uh, I guess I'll like some water, more water. Okay, we have officially filled up our storage here. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to take off the flares because I really don't need them. I really don't. So, uh, I don't know. I'll drop the flares down here. Are they just shrinking? Oh, they're just really small. Okay. <laughs> I see even more now why I uh, don't use those. Um... Actually, I do know something I could do while we wait in the meantime. I could build another multi-purpose room. Uh, for uh, when I unlock the alien containment. So, two pieces of metal. Let's look around for that. Here's one. And here's another one. Okay, so that's that multi-purpose room, and then, uh, I need a hatch, so quartz. We'll just get that out of the locker. Thankful, I'm so thankful that I, uh, Welcome aboard, Captain. uh, chose to get some, so... I gotta restore power to this as well. Quartz, uh, titanium, copper ore. Let's 
Let's see, did I get more quartz in the prong suit? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Yes, I did. Good. And uh, we'll repair it a little bit. Takes a lot longer to repair, my goodness. There we go. Might as well. I'll... I might just uh, charge this battery after I'm done with it and uh, just use another one in the locker. <laughs> See, the battery's all charged. I can just uh, do that and then replace it with this. And put that battery in there. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll uh, get a new battery for the repair tool. we go. Alright, it's dark now. Let's go to sleep. Good morning! Okay. Let's go over and at least install the uh, the whatchamacallit, the solar panel. There we go. Power restored. All primary systems online. Okay. Now with that, I'm thirsty. And I'm a little hungry. Should have done this before Welcome going to bed, Captain. but I didn't. Okay. All right, going over to Life Pod Four. So we gotta start from the stern again. All right, southwest. Ah, stupid bone shark! Stupid bone shark! Leave me alone! It's a warper, be careful. I haven't scanned it yet. But, whatever. Where could it be? Oh, I know this area. This leads to Lost River. But I'm not ready to go there yet. I'm looking for Life Pod 4. It says it's sunk to 200 meters. And I checked. But I didn't see it. Whoa, we got another wreck. Is this one that we can cut through? Let's take a look. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Oh gosh. Uh, one. There we go. Oh my gosh, another one? Okay, I have to go back. For air. Oh, what's this? Grappling arm fragment! Let's scan that. 
Nice. 30 seconds. Okay, I'm about to die. Legit. Can I get out, please? Can I get out? Oxygen. No? You gonna leave me here to die? Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> Dang it! Died. And I didn't lose anything. That's good. Okay. But my hunger reset, so I need to eat. Oops. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to eat that. Oh, well. I still have this. There we go. Well, looks like I have to dive down and get the prawn suit. In fact, actually, what I want to do is take a beacon with me so that, uh, um, so that I don't lose track of the life pod. And there's a reason for it, um, because the Lost River is usually pretty hard to find, so... Okay, and be ready to use the sea glide and go! Passing 100, Passing 100 meters. meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, now let's try this again. Okay, the exit was down, not up, or right, or whatever. Let's see. This door. Okay, before I... Before I, uh... Yeah. Before I do anything else, let's get air. Okay. Get me up. Up. S stupid sea glide. Moves me too fast. Let's see. Where's the other door? Where's the other door just cut? No, that's... It's down here. <laughs> Ah, come on! Gosh dang it. I need to go back up for air. Okay. If I can get down. Get down, please! Thank you! Jeez. And it's- ugh, that data box is pointless. Oh, repulsion cannon. I'm probably not gonna use that. But yeah. Well that was pointless! Jeez. That's a thermal plant. Okay. Ah, that was hectic. Sure, I'll pick up a ruby. A radio broadcast! Okay, this is just about 200 meters. So... Let's see. <gasps> Did we find it? 
We found it! Finally! It's just a toy car! And PDA... And... An unusual doll! Kinda looks like Markiplier! Okay. I wonder if that was an easter egg. <laughs> well, great to see Mark in this game. Life Pod 7 was... Yep, that's what we were looking for. Okay. Let's put the beacon here. Let's see, oops. No, I want to rename the beacon. Live Pod 7. Okay. Well, with that, let's head back. I'm so glad we finally found it. That was probably a bone shark. Oh my gosh. Leave me alone, you bone sharks! more outcrops. Okay, tiger plants don't seem to care about the uh, um, prawn suit, so that's good. There we go! We're finally home! Nice! Well, that was fun. And with that, guys, we will end the part right here. So, next time, we will look at the new radio broadcast and see what else we can find. And we'll probably go to the Lost River as well, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next time for the next part of Let's Play Subnautica. To be continued. Oh my gosh. You ruined my funny number.